Today's Daily Bible Thought continues in Genesis chapter 3. And we're going to loop back a little bit because this is important to make sure we get this conversation clear. This is a conversation between the serpent and the woman Eve. And we don't know how long Adam and Eve were around and enjoying the garden before the serpent reared his ugly head. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about time so much. We don't need to get hung up on that. It matters that this conversation happened. And here's what happened. So this is Eve's reply. Remember that the serpent's like, did God say you can't eat of any tree? Nope. It's like implying that God would not give them food to eat. Yeah, implying a lot of things. Here's part of the woman's reply. She says, this is verse 3 again. We're going to read through verse 5 today. It's only the fruit from the tree in the middle of the garden that we are not allowed to eat. God said, you must not eat it or even touch it. If you do, you will die. You won't die, the serpent replied to the woman. God knows that your eyes will be opened as soon as you eat it. And you will be like God, knowing both good and evil. Now, right there, as soon as the serpent said, you won't die. And I'm saying it in a voice that makes me think that's how he had to have said it. He implied that God lied <laughs> right there, red flag. you know. And we need to listen carefully to the voices we're hearing in our heads all the time. God's spirit speaks to us. If we know Christ and we have put our faith and trust and hope in him, then his voice is there. But so are like the voices of other people, the culture, our family, and so is the serpent's voice. And his venom is poison, and it's poison against God. It implies that God would withhold something from us, something good that we should have, that we have a right to. It's a lie. And so, you know, the fact that, I mean, he was telling partial truth. As soon as they do eat that fruit, their eyes are opened and they do know good and evil, but they're not any more like God than they already were because they were created in God's image. So we reject or lose that as we choose sin. We don't want to do that. We want to grow into God's image and learn more of how to walk with Christ. So anyway, read Genesis 3 for yourself. It bears reading all the way through, but if I did that, these would be very long daily Bible thoughts. So tomorrow we may loop a little again, but we're just going to keep going and get through Genesis chapter 3.